Hello and welcome to another video by me, Teletacos. Today, we are gonna be making a door opening system for opening not only one but multiple doors with one script at the same time. Uh, yeah, and it's going to be E to open and E to close, of course. So, I think let's just get right into it. So, first, I'm going to tell you how you can prepare the door for this to be able to work. So, right here, as always, I have a little uh, door model that I made. It looks pretty bad, uh, mainly because I made it, and I'm a not a great builder. <laughs> but, as you can see here, here's the actual door model. So the first thing I'm going to do to make this a little bit better is just to, you don't have to, but I recommend just taking like loose parts like this and just union, uni make a union right here. And then I'm going to just kind of name this like base. And then what you actually need for the script is you need two handles. So these can be parts like this or unions. Uh, this is a union. So like this, and these are just gonna have yeah, you're just gonna have two handles on each side of the door, and one is gonna be called handle one, or and handle two right there, and this this one is gonna going to be called handle one, and then there's one more thing you have to do, and I'm going to do it right now for mine. So make a new part, and I'm going to scale it like this. And let me just get a little bit like this. And I'm going to place this right here. I'm just scale it down a little bit more like this maybe. It doesn't have to be very precise. This is just for... Uh, oh. Yeah, this is just for like... Um, rotating the door. And then you're just going to move this up like this. Just like that. That should work fine. Uh, is this in the middle? Uh, let me see. It's not exactly in the middle. Let me see here. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, okay. So, on this one, I'm going to put it inside of the model. And I'm going to name it Hinge. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and do can collide off and anchored on. And for these other parts, I'm going to select them all by holding uh, control and clicking on each of the one of them or click on the first one and holding shift. And then I'm going to have cal can collide on and I'm also going to turn anchored on on those two. And for the hinge, I'm also going to make it transparent. There we go. And that is all you need for the actual model of the door. And now we're gonna go into scripting. So what you're going to do is you're going to add in a script in the folder which you will have all the doors in. You can have multiple folders but then you need multiple scripts in each folder. So add a script in here. And I'm going to name it maybe like door handler. Anything works. So yeah, let's just start. So first I'm going to define some services. So I'm going to do tween service. And that's going to be equal to game get service tween service. And then I'm going to get the actual doors. And that is going to be script.parent get children. Because that is the folder. And then I'm going to do local function tween. So this is for tweening stuff. So in here I'm going to pass through the object. The goal, the easing style, and the tween time. I'm going to tell you more about them soon. So, local tween is equal to tween service create object. So, for creating a tween, you need first the object and then a tween info 
and I'm just gonna put in the tween time right here and then I'm also going to put in the e-scene style so e-scene style and then I'm going to put in the given goal like that and we're just going to return tween so very simple uh, you could do this uh, in the in the actual script you don't really need this function but I'm just gonna have this function so there we go now we've defined this function now I just want to make it so I weld all of these parts together because right now if I run this you can see that it's just going to if I'm not mistaken if these are uh, all right so this is gonna stay like this but if I were to move this uh, it will not uh, it will not follow basically and also one more thing is make sure that you've set the primary part of the actual model to be the hinge that is very important for this to be able to work so I'm gonna loop through all of the uh, models inside of the folder. So for I comma model in pairs doors. So if this model is is actually a model, uh, then I'm going to loop through all of the parts of the model. So for uh, I comma part in pairs model get children do so we're gonna check if the part is not equal to the to the actual primary part of the model because we don't want to weld the hinge to itself and we're also gonna check if the part is a base part if that is we're gonna going to create a weld and that's going uh, local weld is equal to instant on new well constraint and well dot parent is going to be equal to model dot primary part or the hinge as we set the primary part of the model to be the hinge we're also going to set the well dot part zero to be the model dot primary part and the well dot part one to be the part and we're gonna unanchor the part that we're looping through so basically if we run, run this we'll see that it doesn't really look any diff different but these uh, oh sorry did I type true sorry I mean false as you can see it doesn't really look any different but if we go into these we see that they're unanchored uh, which means if we would move this, you can also look in here, we have all the will constraints. So if we would move this, it would follow. But now in if we just move it like this without a script, it will not follow because it's going to overwrite uh, these well constraints. So let's now make the script for actually opening doors now that we made the welding script. So we're going to again loop through all the models inside of the doors folder so doors if model is a model then we're gonna make a few variables we're gonna do local open is equal to false and local debounce local I mean local debounce is equal to false then to get a little icon here that you can click on or like the E to open, we're gonna make a prompt or a proximity prompt. So I'm gonna name it to prompt one. It's equal to instant done you proximity prompt. Prompt one dot parent is equal go going to be equal to model dot handle one. And prompt one dot action takes is equal is going to be equal to open because the door is closed in the beginning. And then we're just going to copy this and paste it right here. Switch out these for a 2 instead of a 1. And also switch this one to a 2 instead of a 1. Then we're going to do like this. We're going to do prompt1.trigger. 
make function and then we're gonna get the player from it so we're basically gonna check if debounce is equal to false so this is just meant so you can't spam click it if uh, if you also want it to make it in another way you could if you want it to you so you have to hold it down the button for it to activate you could do on these two you could do prompt one dot uh, hold duration is equal to like two on both of these and you you will have to hold down so if we can just look right here you would have to hold down for it to activate but i'm just not going to have that i'm going to do it without it and do a my own debounce on it so if debounce is equal to false then we're gonna set debounce is equal to true so it can't get here again if we haven't set it to false again so if the door is open then we want to close it of course so open is going to be equal to false and the prompt one dot action text is going to be open because now it's closed so it's going to say open <laughs> if you understand I'm going to show you as well soon and then we're gonna make the tween so local tween is equal to tween So we're going we want to tween the model's primary part. So model.primary part. And the goal is C frame. So the C frame of the primary part is going to be equal to the model's C frame or the model's primary part dot C frame times C frame dot angles zero comma math dot radians or math dot rad. I'm going to make a hundred comma zero and then I'm also going to make right here enum dot, uh, do we have the tween time as well yeah so enum dot easing style and I'm just going to do these are different types of like styles I'm going to choose like sign you can play around with it and the tween time I'm going to set to one and then I'm going to play the tween so tween play and then we're going to else if the door is not open then we want to open it so we can copy this set this to true set these to close and change this one right here to minus 100 and then one last thing, right here we're going to do task await 1 and debounce is equal to false and make sure th this is the same amount as this one so when the tween is done then you can click it again. Now just copy this one, paste it in here, switch this one for 2 and there we go. So let's just try this out real quick. So, as you can see, when you click E here, you can see that the door opens. And the only part that is actually, we're actually changing is the hinge. And when the hinge is rotating, as we welded the, the other parts to the hinge, they are gonna, going to follow the hinge. So it's pretty a cool way to do it. Just like this. And as you can see, if we duplicate this, Ctrl D and place a few of them like that. You can see that we only have one single script, but they will work for every single one. We close that, we can close that, we can open this one, close that one. And everything works just perfectly fine. So yeah, that's how you make a E to open door in the Roblox with uh, one script for multiple doors. So thank you so much for watching and leave any suggestions on the next video I should do. If you like the video, uh, you can like the video <laughs> and uh, subscribe 
if you enjoy my content uh, it's really appreciated we we're soon at 100 subscribers so that would be really nice to hit you know and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye